Welcome back to Evercade Never Played, where I look at games on the Evercade I've never played before, and today we're going to be looking at Steeplechase. So let's load it up and see if it's as thrilling as the manual suggests. Um, I have already played this and I can tell you that the manual is lying for its absolute teeth. So you can see here we've got six different gameplay modes. It basically means that everything speeds up and the jumps become a little bit more trickier. But let's get on and I'll show you the gameplay. I'm the little horsey at the bottom and there we all go and we're off and we're jumping over these fences. Now you might be thinking is there more to the game? Uh, are there perhaps guns that bolt onto the side of your horses so you can take out the other guys? No there is not. This is pure unadulterated horse racing with some jumping in and that's that's pretty much it. So obviously if you take the jumps poorly like I'm doing you'll um, be slowed down. I mean this horse's legs are going to be absolutely all he's going to be good for is a knackers yard after this. But um, if you can get the timing right you can pull away from the others and ideally you want to aim for the fastest time possible. And I think the best I've done is about 1 minute 45 which I'm obviously nowhere near achieving here. But I am ahead of the pack and I'm feeling good about myself. Oh look at that. Oh that poor bloody horse. Somebody bring out a guy with a shotgun and put him out of his misery. Obviously the further you get to the right hand side of the screen the less time you've got to react to things so you need superhuman reflexes in order to um, achieve victory. And that's it. You know I'd, I'd like to turn around and say that there's um, <laughs> there's some really exciting stuff on the later levels but there isn't. I'm going to choose the second difficulty now and all you can see is it just speeds up a little bit. So, I mean, I always find it amazing that games like this would have been released at a significant price point back in the day and people would have bought them. <laughs> and um, it just shows you how far the industry has come. Um, I never experienced this back on the Atari 2600 when I was a kid and I appreciate it being on this cartridge. But um, I'd be lying if I said that this is one of the cartridge's highlights. It's, um, it just feels way too difficult once you start going up to the other difficulty levels. So um, it, gets a little, it gets a little frustrating. I, I have been enjoying it. But um, let's try difficulty three. But yeah, it's, I mean, this is, this is the sort of thing which I will return to every now and then because it is very easy to play and it is quite fun but there's no there's no substance here whatsoever it's incredibly basic and that's all there is to it so i'm actually doing quite well here and it turns out that i'm not even actually playing so there you go i don't even know when, I, when i'm not actually playing the game so i guess that tells you everything you need to know about it so let's see if i do win am i going to win is my horse going to win Ah, uh, I still can't win even when I'm not playing. So that's bitterly disappointing. Let's um let's go back to the first level because I did actually have some joy with that. So this is one of twenty games which is on the first Atari collection. I will include links to where you can buy it in the description. And I won't be looking at every game on the collection because I have played a few of them, but I probably will run the others. If you do want to see anything else, I have got all 10 packs. So let me know of any preferences and I'll do what I can about opening them and doing a little showcase video like this. Cool. Um, so this is it really. This is um, Steeplechase on Evercade. I've never played it. And um, if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos because they all help. And um, I will be back soon with more videos for you to watch. This is Retro Gamer Daz. This is Evercade Never Played. And I'll be back shortly. Take care, everyone. Bye.